Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial for the Raya Pro Hub. The Hub allows us to access panels within Raya Pro, but it also does other things as well. We have here a button called Stack, and this will allow us, if we have two open windows here, so we have two exposures, a bright one and a dark one, and we want to put them as layers in our layer panel so we can start exposure blending. Well, just by pressing Stack, this will stack our exposures for us. And now we've closed the other window. We now just have one window open and we have two exposures, a bright one and the dark one on top of each other. Now undo will allow us to undo anything that we've previously done. So if I open up a curves layer, I can press undo and that removes the curves layer. Or let's say I open up a curves layer and I don't like the mask on that layer, I can press delete mask and that will delete the mask of the current layer. Or I can just press delete layer and that will delete the layer. Another great function are these three along here, highlight, shadows, and adjust. These allow us to create targeted adjustments to just our highlights, our shadows. So let's say we're doing a normal workflow and we want to add some color to the foreground. Let's say we want to add some warmth to these trees. Well, if I open up a photo filter and let's say I increase the warmth of the trees, but you see it's affecting the sky as well and we don't really want that we just want the darker areas to be affected, we can press this button called shadows. And there we create a mask on this photo filter that affects only the shadows. You can see it there. So here's the before and after. We've added warmth to the darkest parts of the image without affecting the sky. And if we press this adjust button, we can make that selection more targeted or more relaxed depending on what we want. So if I create a more targeted selection, now we've really added warmth to all of the darkest areas in the image. By the same token, we can do that with the highlights instead. So let's say I want to target the highlights and not the shadows. Well, I can press that. And there we've created a mask with just the highlights in. So there's the before and after. And we can again use the adjust button to exclude all of the shadows and make it just affect the highlights. Press OK. And that's the before and after. So this is great when we're working through our workflow and making certain adjustments and we only want it to affect certain tonal ranges within our image, we can just press highlights or shadows. But the other useful thing about these options is that if I delete these layers, we can also use them for very quick exposure blending. For example, with this brighter exposure, I want to take the darker areas, so the trees and stuff, and put them into this darker exposure, which is nicely exposed for in the sky. So I want to select the shadows. So I press shadows. And just like that, we have blended our exposures. And again, we can adjust the mask to make sure we're only affecting the shadows and we're not affecting the sky. Press OK. And there's before and after. I'm going to delete this mask and show you how we can do it if we want to blend in the darker exposure into the brighter exposure. I make the darker exposure invisible first, then I simply press highlights. So we're selecting the brightest parts of the image. And again, I can choose the adjust button and make sure we're only affecting the sky. So there's the before and after. And of course, we'll have a little bit of work to do after that. So we can use the Raya Pro 3 Hub as an exposure blending tool as well.